Greetings everyone, this is Shahar Khan and in this lesson we are going to learn the basic use of Burp Suit Interception Proxy. In the previous lesson we learned how to configure Burp Suit Proxy. Now for, for interception of a website request, first we have to turn on the interceptor. By turning this on, we will be able to capture each and every traffic being sent. I suppose I'm going to open this. The request will be logged. Now, while the interception is on, each and every request will be controlled. I can forward the request, I can drop the request, and I can perform any specific action. By dropping the request, the request will not be sent to the server and the request will be cancelled. And we can even forward the request so it will be sent to server. Like suppose I want to make some kind of changes here like or oh, let's suppose index. I can send this to the server after doing some kind of modification we can see the request in different forms this is the raw format you can see the actual request you can click the headers tab to view only headers and its values and here's the x value we can even perform some actions like we're right clicking here and we're in the request we can send it to spider we can send it to different tabs of burp suite we can use the request in browser to replicate the request in the browser a, these are some kind of pro features like these generate pocs and some stuff we can even change the request type. We can copy the URL. We can copy the request as a CURL command. We can save the request to a file. We can stop the request from interception. We can intercept its response. As you can see, we can sometimes modify the, uh, the response by intercepting it. So that's the interception. And in the in the HTTP history tab, we can see all the requests that we that were made before. You can see the status codes, length, type, and the extensions. So that's how to use the burp suite proxy.